Epicus Auction, sale 236, video file for lot 1087. A uh, large carton of German covers, uh, commercial mail, uh, largely uh, family related mail from a uh, Jewish family that fled to um, uh, England before World War II. Uh, so there's mail from Germany to them in England, uh, like this. Um, but then they emigrated to Australia and uh, there's a lot of later material into Australia. It's, uh, as I said, all commercial. So you find things like this, you usually only see the mint or CTO. So it's nice. That one's creased, unfortunately. So there's a fair bit of Nazi period stuff. There's a, a, quite a bit of Berlin. When they were still in England. This material's never been on the market. That's quite an important find. Allied occupation. <coughs> Damage there. Berlin Formula Aerogram, United Restitution Organization. So there's lots of uh, hoist uh, material, printed matter. Most torn overprints. And again, Berlin overprints. And we can guarantee they're genuine based on the provenance. Return to sender, going to Brazil, nice and busy. Hitler Frankings. Nazi slogans, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, F.W. Perfin. Uh, don't know what F.W. is. Another J.S. Perfin. High value franking, 13 marks 20. Earlier one. <coughs> Not a lot of registered mail, but some. That's a nice cover with the high value Goethe. There's lots of uh, interesting slogans and advertising and meters. There's a good example. Unused. Printed matter morning cover. Good grief. There's obviously some duplication, but in terms of um, uh, a study lot or, or just putting a collection together or uh, retailing it, putting it on eBay, there's all sorts of options here. Leipziger Messer. Raw post, uh, the pneumatic mail. As with the meters, there's a lot of good slogans. Uh, machine cancels, which the uh, Germans did very nicely with. The date heads cancelling the stamps, which of course is not the way it was done in Australia. Fortunately, badly damaged.
Olympics, 1936. References to the reply function barred out. And again. The last one. Goethe slogan. Commemorative cancel used uh, commercially to Australia. Strip of three of the 70 Fennec. Two marks. Deutsch marks. That's uh, the pneumatic mail cover. To Berlin Central Flughafen. Another commercial usage of a pictorial cancel. like big envelopes here at, uh, at Abacus so that's a good one it's interesting that uh, even though it's posted from Germany the sender is uh, Japanese so he was obviously attending a conference well it appears that he was attending a conference how about this Berlin Frankings so we've got if they're, they don't appear to be split, no, they might be probably originally two, four, six, eight, nine. So strips of strip of nine, a block of ten, and a block of eight. Terrific. print Berlin overprint with the uh, surcharge these are pretty good covers 40 Fennec Bell with the clapper to the right 20 and 10 from the same series. It's a better stamp, good franking. 90 fig. Nice post horn cover, gone away. We haven't checked these uh, aerograms. I know some of the early ones are very good. Tax postcard. Currency control. Customs labels. Oops. Express fee paid on a postcard, that's unusual. Two marks registered email, solo franking, which would be unusual. Barden registered. Pair of the one mark building. Tax per sue, meaning postage paid. Oh, that's nice. Entire packet wrapping. Rounded corner on that stamp. Very nice. 
last thing. And this. Mm. Yes, well, considering that that's less than 10% of the material in the box, uh, I think you'll get the idea that uh, it's a very, very good lot.